that feeling when you go to university and you finally start to realize that you're no longer in school and that you're pretty much just your own person now um that is kind of what is kind of settling in now even though we are in january and i started uni in october and to be honest i'm gonna be telling you my first what is it october november december january february we're now in march we're now in my sixth month of my first year in being in uni and i'm gonna tell you my personal honest experience on what it's been like ever since i started now if i'm gonna be honest there's i'd be lying to you if i said that, or at times where it was a case of i was questioning why i was coming to uni of why i should whether i should actually be in this university or whether i should pursue a different path now i have already made my decision i'm gonna to commit to the four years in uni the extra one being a placement year but it was a case of like my initial plan in terms of education, it wasn't like a case of, oh, I wanted to go to university initially. What I was planning on doing was a case of, I wanted to do a degree apprenticeship because, because of my course, computer science, that was definitely the recommended route because not only do you get the degree, you get at least four years in experience in what all these different companies are looking for. Now, I wasn't successful in it, but I definitely feel like I could have tried harder in which I've, when I look back on it, I definitely didn't try hard enough, especially with like the applications that I was putting in. It felt like it was half-hearted. None of it were, looked fully committed. Now, actually being in uni, now me, I'm not really someone that likes to party. I don't, I don't like doing all that stuff unless it's like a case of, my friends are taking part and then I'll be like, yeah, I'd be more enticed to do so. But like with me, it was a case of even, it was a case of if I didn't go to uni, if I didn't get a degree apprenticeship, I'd be fine with going to uni as long as it was the one that I wanted to go to. Now, I ended up not going to the one I wanted to go to, which was Aston University, in which they needed a a b in order to be accepted i got a b b which they did accept but it was for a different course now the course they were they were allowing to give me which didn't matter on whether i had gotten the requirements or not was engineering and maths with a foundation year now with me one thing i am really like need one thing i'm really like seriously concerned about is making sure i get experience while i'm in uni now that would have meant that I, if i had taken um aston on that offer i would have um done five years instead of four which meant i did the foundation year with the placement year along with the three actual um years that you normally spend in uni now that in itself is just really long and it's in a whole different other sector and i'm not really interested in so i was like you know what let me just take my insurance choice and let's see what happens now into like the first semester if that's what it's called um it was definitely it it went it went it was it was, it was really good because it was a case of like yeah you're either easing you into like the course as there's like a lot of people who have never really there were a lot of people that haven't really taken computer science in like sixth form or in gcsc so they have to like ease people in so that in itself it kind of led me into a false sense of security making me seem like oh this stuff is easy and like this is gonna be a well it wasn't gonna be a breeze but like i felt like i could just i could relax now that was the case. I did well in that first semester, but then we went into the second semester in which, um, well, the second module, which was after the first one was database and management, where we were dealing with SQL and the, that programming language, where well, mainly what we did was like, we were just trying out the code and then we'd have like a 
phase test at an end of like a week in which that one I didn't have problems with. But then later into the, like, the next module, we now started doing, um, if I remember, I don't even remember what we started doing. Oh yeah, it was, um, it was more of a case of like, we had like a case study and we had to write an entire risk assessment for a hospital regarding the different um, security threats that may come across when um, the hospital's dealing with data. And that one surprisingly went well for me considering it was my first essay that I had done ever since I'd finished sixth form in which that one, it I don't even know whether I did well or not because I only got my final grades from that. I didn't really get um, my marks from my coursework. So that one went surprisingly well. So my first semester in terms of like academic wise, it was really good. But like outside of uni, I had, it was, it was terrible because with me, I, it was a case of, I couldn't really find a job. I could only work when I went back to London, which meant it was like when I had time for break out, my break would be going back to London to work. And for some personal reasons, that kind of made things much worse. Now, I'm definitely in a much better place than I was back from like October all the way to December. I'm in a much better place now because I was able to, through the grace of God, and I was able to recover myself through him and all that stuff. And we're now into March and I, f I, f I completely forgot. We're now into like the second semester, if that makes sense. Yeah, we're... Um, we had just finished um, the software development life cycle, which definitely um, this one was much more um, it was much more business related, like sixth form was, where it was a case of like we kind of just went through the process of what like a software developer would um, go through when it in terms of like making a website or developing a software and all that stuff. Now. With me, it, it was a case of, it's definitely, because I picked computer science, it's not really gonna be a part in our course that's gonna be, um, gonna be, it's not gonna be looked into very deeply because with computer science, it's a whole range of different um, sectors. So next year, we're gonna be looking at media and, um, and or just different types of like um, media. So it's like, we've got that, it's one of our optional modules that, we'll, that we get to choose. I think I, it's, with the way it's looking, I might end up choosing that one, mainly because I do have experience in media from sixth form, because that was one of my better performing um, uh, subjects for BTEC. So that one I'd be more inclined to choose, but Regarding the software engineering um, uh, development life cycle, it was like, it, it in terms of like how um, difficult it was, it wasn't really difficult. It was just the fact that it just, um, it, 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 it made me realize that software development in terms of like actually getting into that area, you're gonna need a lot more than just coding just to, understand different programming languages to actually land a job in that area because there's a lot of interviews that are going to have to take place whilst being in the job because you've got to have all these different questionnaires that you want to have to make for the person for the client that you're um developing a software or website for you've got to make sure you have um personas where you have to create what the average user would look like where you'd have to get their character traits and um, almost like form an idea of what they would look like. That was literally one of the, um, what we had to do in our assessment for um, creating like a whole document for um, a, uh, I think it was for a yacht business where we had to create like a persona of um, rich middle-aged adults of um, people that would use the kind of website 
and that was definitely what um, was we, that was what we were involved in. Now, although I did all right in it, it wasn't like a case of I enjoyed myself in it because in back in October when I was doing the database stuff, um, it was like you there's stuff that you can do where you can find it easy but it's also boring but then there's also stuff that you can find easy but also it's entertaining you can find stuff that is hard but also entertaining and all the um and the other way around but with this one it was i found it all right but it was it, it was boring and th that took me back to secondary school where i was doing a bunch of stuff that i was not interested in and it was either easy or hard so that in itself just made things much harder to do if that makes sense so when it came to actually doing the work it was um i was able to do the work but it was it, it just felt like i was being forced to do it now i haven't experienced that in a long time so i forgot what that felt like to be doing work you don't want to do and that definitely played a part in get in the result that I got. I still, I still did, I still did it all right, but it wasn't what I would hope to get. Now we're now into this. Um, we're now into actual um, computer program. We're now into the computer programming part of the first year, where we're going through a programming language called Scala which is more of like it's more of like a it's, it's quite similar to java but a little bit different now compared to sql this one is definitely much more complicated sql was much more simpler but this one's like i've gotten um i've been introduced to this um thing called print ln where it's much different well, it it may sound it, it may sound different or similar to like just print but it's got different like functions but like when it came to like um just learning how to use um scala it was definitely much more um much more complicated because it was a case of i'm seeing when it comes to like just writing down a sentence where you want to add like spaces on um on sentences of code that you want to output i'm seeing that you're gonna have to add um plus signs like you're gonna have to use um there's if you want to like create a tab or like go onto a new line you're gonna have to use the hash i think i'm pretty sure it's the hash t function if you want to use a space you want to have to use the n hash n function it's just like so many different stuff compared to like python and um sql where it's much just much more simpler and it's definitely a challenge and it's not something that i'm just going to shy away from but when it's in, when just from the way it is it was definitely hard to um like it was definitely much more harder to get used to and i even forgot to rem uh, mention like after christmas like i've just felt like i found it a lot harder to actually like do the work like i would still get the work done but like when if i compare myself to just before christmas and to now i would see myself doing much more work easily easily than it, it was now like i would Back then, I would easily just go to the library and just get some work done because I just had the discipline, discipline and motivation. Like, Christmas happened, and then I get back to uni, and all of a sudden, ugh, I just can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. Like, I'll just wait until it gets close to the deadline, and then I'll get it done, which isn't a good thing. I know it isn't, but it was a case of it shouldn't. It shouldn't happen. So now I'm going to. Um, I have another test what is it on this Friday and I am preparing for it don't worry um, this one I definitely feel much more comfortable for I mean more um, confident for because I definitely have more knowledge on Scala now than I did back then because going into Scala back then it was like a completely fresh new plate and um, it was like I've never heard of this programming language before 
and it was where where do I go? What's the differences between what I already know? And not to mention, um, when I there was a time when I had like looked over like all the main um, programming languages that, in which employers look for, and when I was looking, I saw the usuals, the Pythons, the C plus plus, the C sharps, the um, SQLs, all th all the main. Um, all the main programming languages you would expect to see and when i was looking for scala it there was like there was like 12 programming languages in which they were said they had said oh these are the most important ones out of those 12 um programming languages i didn't see scala there anywhere near like it wasn't even mentioned in like the descriptions and all that stuff now that definitely played a part in um, me struggling to like actually learn the programming language because when if I feel like I f as I'm wasting my time on something I'm definitely gonna not put as much energy towards it like it let's say it was a case of this module we're gonna be learning about Python I could assure you for a hundred percent it would have been a case of i would have been learning something new every day i would have been spending hours upon end learning over it learning over and over but this one it just feels like when i'm learning a programming language that is not being asked for in like the job market i'll feel like i'm kind of wasting my time if that makes sense if i want to i don't want to spend what is it six weeks learning a programming language i know i'm not going to use in the future because it's just not being it's not in demand like unless there's i want to make a business of my own and i might need to use it then yeah of course but it's it's just just not looking like something that i'm very likely going to use but it's whatever the, the the tech industry always keeps on changing one moment we're in a cloud next moment we're in ai we, we don't even know what's going to come up next so yeah that's pretty that's that's pretty much it well now um after that it's gonna be a case of i finished my first year and i hope that it's gonna be an even better experience because i i couldn't i couldn't hope for anything better um and yeah because i couldn't wait for summer to come because it would mean that i could finally just relax I definitely want to get into an internship because that's definitely what's going to be recommended. I need the experience. I can't afford to just sit on my degree alone if I want to get a job when I graduate because especially with the um, job market now in terms of like the tech area, it's going to be very hard considering there's been a lot of layoffs recently. So yeah, I've definitely got to, definitely got to get that experience under my belt as well. So yeah, I just felt like just letting people know what it felt like through my first um, six months of uni in my first year. And just to put it in summary, it's been a roller coaster. It could have, it's been, there's been highs, there's been lows. It's been, it's been steadily going back up. Um, and yeah, that's been pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys made it to the end. Um, thank you all for watching and the football stuff will definitely come back it's just I've been doing been busy doing a lot of work and all that stuff and um, yeah thank you all for watching um, yeah see you all on whenever Arsenal play I'm pretty sure it's this weekend but yeah see you goodbye